show you guys how I dermaplane my face. This is the reason why my hair loss was not as bad this time around. I was at the wrong place at the right time. Cause suddenly there you Hey guys, so I'm doing this video a little bit backwards. Um, you guys will see this is actually like the last day that I finished vlogging, but I honestly had no idea how this video was gonna go. I started just picking up the camera and just vlogging to like reconnect with you guys, honestly, because it's been literally two months since my last video. It hasn't really felt right coming back. Like, I don't know, it's just getting that first video back up after so long of being gone just felt really awkward. So I was like, you know, I'm just gonna pick up the camera and just like start vlogging my day. I took a really long break and it was much needed. I was feeling uninspired. I was feeling overwhelmed as a new mom of two. I was feeling um, just my emotions were all over the place. And honestly, I just wasn't feeling the love for YouTube at the moment, at the time, two months ago. And then I discovered um, Reels and TikTok, which is just like short form videos. You literally have like, 30 seconds to upload a video, 30 seconds to a minute. And I started doing that and I love it. It's so fun. I feel like I rediscovered my passion for like making videos and recipe videos. And um, so I just focused for those two months on doing that. But I'm ready to come back to YouTube and make longer videos. If you guys still want me here, because <laughs> I know it's been a long time. I think I even uploaded one of those like little short videos here on YouTube, because I know YouTube now has that kind of like short format content. There's also some other things that we've been kind of keeping a little secret, which I will let you guys know very, very soon. I promise. And I'm so happy to be back. I am super excited. Leave me a comment. I'm gonna be talking with you guys in the comment section. Yeah, let's go ahead and jump into today's video. I'm about to make an oatmeal smoothie. My friend Belinda makes it and she drinks it to increase her milk supply and she always makes it look so good. I think she puts like Nutella in hers. So I am going to make mine. This is the oats that I use, peanut butter, oat milk. Also gonna add chocolate chips to mine and some chia seeds for some added fiber. And then of course you gotta have some cinnamon. So I recently upgraded my Vitamix and this one is so nice. It's like all touch screen. So I got some new goodies during the Sephora sale. One of them is this dermaplaning starter kit. So I'm actually gonna use it right now. I have um, just my skincare. First, let me show you guys everything else that I got. I already opened this one because I was way too excited for it, but it's the La Mer Lip Plumper. This stuff is like really minty and moisturizing. I also got this serum right here. It's a hydrating serum and it actually came in a mini size in that dermaplaning kit that I just showed you guys. Just a really good body lotion with very minimal ingredients. So I like using it on Elegant and Sebastian as well. Their deodorant is also really good by the way. I also got some Jo Malone hand wash and hand soap. So pretty, I wanted to wait to open it on camera with you guys because the packaging is just so cute. This 
Nectarine and Blossom Honey. This is one of my favorite scents. They also have the Blush Peony and Suede scent and that one smells so good too. And here is the hand soap and these will just look so nice on the vanity in the bathroom. So they were 20% off during the sale, which is awesome because it's really hard to get Jovo One on sale. I also picked up these Orbe hairspray and texturizing spray. I didn't know that Sephora carried this brand. I saw this after I had already placed an order and I placed a second order when I saw these. I was so excited. Their texturizing spray is honestly like the best texturizing spray I've ever used and it smells so good and I really wanted to try their hairspray. So here's the texturizing spray. You guys have probably seen this on my channel before because I've used it like a million times. I also got these eye patches. I've had these in the past and they're so good. They're so hydrating. And I got this new Dior powder right here. It looked a lot lighter on the website. So I'm thinking it might be a little bit on the dark side. I don't know, maybe not. I don't know. It's supposed to be really nice, kind of like blurring setting powder. So I cannot wait to try it. Normally when I do my, the dermaplaning on my face, I just use those little razors from Amazon. So I'm really excited to have these. So this is everything that comes in here. The dermaplaning tool right here, some extra blades. You're only supposed to use one blade each time. So you're supposed to toss it after you fully use it and uh, use a new one each time. And I use uh, aloe vera gel. I never go over the same spot twice. That's something that's like super important because you could definitely like irritate your skin. Um, you guys saw me dermaplaning my face yesterday and I did not get a chance to like finish it. My battery ended up dying halfway. You guys get the idea and I love it, you guys. Like it has made my skin so smooth. I even take down some of my sideburns and I feel like my, my face just looks so much brighter. And my skincare absorbs a lot better. I've noticed that I don't have to exfoliate with harsh chemicals quite as often when I do the dermaplaning and I do it like every, I want to say like every other week. Um, also, after I was done dermaplaning, I oiled my hair. Let me show you guys. This is like the postpartum hair loss that I've had. It's all right here. Here. it's right here and if you guys remember with sebastian i feel like it was way more pronounced and it was like a lot more hair loss i think that this is the reason why my hair loss was not as bad this time around i've been making my own hair oil concoction and i've only been washing my hair once or twice a week um so these are the products i've been using the black jamaican castor oil red pimento hair growth oil i literally just eyeball it i don't have like exact measurements i do equal parts of both of these and then i go in with like about 10 drops of the rosemary oil i mix it up apply it to my roots i try to keep it in for a minimum of one hour but sometimes up to like two hours and then i just wash it off like normal in the shower so i just had to share it with you guys i will leave it linked down below like where i buy it and all of that um so yeah right now i'm just gonna style my hair and i will be right back i'm dying to try out that new hairspray Mm, it smells so good. And then the texturizing spray is right here. It goes on your roots. I feel like you guys couldn't see the top of my head. I forgot how much I love this stuff. That's it. I really, really like it. Guys, I have to share with you this pasta right here. It's low calories, high fiber, low carbs. It's got literally like half the calories as like traditional pasta and when i tell you you cannot tell the difference between this and regular pasta it is so good that i ordered another set of like the what is it called rotini the little swirly pasta i have my water boiling right now i'm just gonna make my pasta like normal and i'm gonna make a simple like tomato type of pasta because i have all these tomatoes that i need to use up they look so good also here's another little hack that I've been doing. Get my chicken like the day that I ordered from the grocery store and I marinate it in a plastic bag. 
and then I can just keep it in the fridge for about three to four days and I can just take it out as I need it and I put it in the air fryer for like 20 minutes. And if you guys want to see how I cook this, I have a whole video sharing with you guys this recipe. Okay, so I chopped up all my tomatoes, my garlic, and we're gonna be sauteing them in this olive oil. I recently placed an order with them. It's so, so good. Well, let me show you guys the other bottles. I ordered this one, but I actually used it all up already. That's how good it was. And I have another one on the way. And then these are, um, these came in like a little sampler pack. So I got them all and they're really good for like salads. Um, I like using this one for sauteing. So I'm gonna add that to the pan. Okay, I decided to just voice over the rest of the recipe because I want you guys to actually try this pasta. It's so easy and the ingredients are so simple, but it's so, so good. So yeah, I started by adding my olive oil to a pan and then I went ahead and added lots of garlic. I think I had like an entire head of garlic. And then I cooked that down with my tomatoes we're gonna be forming a sauce with this, so I did go ahead and add a little bit of salt and pepper to it, but not too much because we're gonna be using some of that salt water from the pasta that we're cooking. And now the trick to this pasta dish is to undercook the pasta. So I think the package said to cook it for like eight to 10 minutes, so I cooked it for six minutes, like super al dente, and then I'm gonna finish cooking it and the sauce that the tomato is gonna to form. You guys will see what I'm talking about in a second. So once the noodles have been cooking for about five minutes, I went ahead and reserved some of that pasta water. Okay, so back to the tomatoes. Once you guys see that they start to kind of form a sauce, this is when I go in and add everything else that I want to add to it. So in this case, I added some of this sofrito seasoning. Any type of Italian seasoning would be really good with this. I do get this one from Trader Joe's. Okay, so six minutes had passed and my pasta was um, undercooked, which is perfectly how I want it. So I went ahead and added that to my tomatoes and then I added all of that reserved pasta water. I don't have exact measurements. You basically just want enough pasta water to completely coat the noodles so that they can finish cooking in the tomato sauce. And I also added some lemon juice to add some brightness to the dish. Um, then I go in and add lots of spinach and Parmesan cheese. And then you just continue kind of mixing it in that low heat. It's gonna form the creamiest, most delicious sauce. And that's it, this pasta is done. You could add any veggie of your choice. You could even do sun-dried tomatoes, you could do broccoli, um, asparagus, like it's totally up to you. I just personally like spinach. Okay, so hubby requested a bread dip because we got some sourdough bread and I think it would go really well with the pasta. So this is how I've been making it. I put some sofrito, some of this um, garlic crunch, this olive oil, and um, Parmesan cheese and balsamic vinegar, which I'm gonna go grab those right now. Okay, so I'm actually gonna end the vlog here. Thank you guys again so much for watching. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Yeah, bye-bye, bye-bye.